Baby's me, by the way. My little baby girl up there. But anyway, the other people who haven't called me back today is Wrexham Adoption Agency. Um, after the police uh, came, I um, rang, rang um, Wrexham Adoption Agency and said, like, look, this is causing lots of stress and lots of anxiety while everybody is waiting for my letter to come through. And everybody's wondering how I am going to react to this letter this time. And obviously I've got a lot of pressure going on from little witch bitch over there. And I haven't exactly had the greatest starts in here anyway, because I was defamated the moment I got here. But the thing is, Portsmouth City Council and social care and the police here have all seen the evidence of how Aaron and Faith were taken. They all know it was a kidnap. This is the irony of it. So that basically means that every single person since Aaron and Faith were taken, and I hope to God I have got every email I ever sent, every letter I ever sent, and that includes to Flintshire County Council, Lancashire County Council, who I wrote to as soon as Aaron and Faith were taken and said, like, look, you know, you know us. And the thing is, our data wasn't on the system then. That actually caused the freedom of request because I wasn't a client of Lancashire, so it wasn't on the system. And every, like, I've been to, I must have, from the moment Aaron and Faith were taken, and then obviously, as you know, I went to stock, uh, to, um, uh, st oh, to Manchester, somewhere in Manchester. So I went to stay with obviously Jason who helped me with Port for Justice and everything. And the first people I went to was Stockport, was Stockport Council. They caused me more hassle there because obviously I was getting my committal to prison. My committal to prison served me at Jason's ex-wife's house, at Jason's uh, dad's and mum's house. Um, yes, darling. I love you too, sweetheart. Um, just give us two seconds, sweetheart, because I'm talking about Aaron and Faith. Um, Mom, it's not raining. I know. Well, you need to go and get your trousers back on if we're going out. Nice balancing. You're welcome. Oh, hang on, I can't see you in the window. No, see your trousers on. You wish you could do a backflip. You want to be able to go backwards and flip. Yeah, like that. Backwards. So I want to be able to go forwards and you want to be able to go backwards. So yeah. you want to be... So that way you'll learn that in gymnastics. I do. So you want to be able to literally just go back and go backwards. Well, you'll learn that. And stuff high. Yeah. And, and how wide. Yeah. Did you have fun with the fire engine today? Yeah. i tell you what. Let me just cover your bits. Let me turn you around. No. No, 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 that's it. Right, you're up there a minute. Um, don't step back, because otherwise I'll see your bits. No, don't step back. So how was the fire engine today? Um, not good. Did you like the fire engine? No. You didn't like the fire engine? Because they couldn't get me at, at once. Oh, what you mean? No, they got called away, so you didn't get to do everything because they got called away. Why? Because they had an emergency. <gasps> We didn't like the police coming this morning, though, did we? No, don't start fighting because of the police. I mentioned the police and all of a sudden he starts... Uh... <laughs> yeah, right, give me two more minutes then and I'll cut off because we're going out for a second, aren't we? No. Um, so for those that don't know, obviously, I was rudely interrupted by the police knocking on my door this morning and I brought the fire engine. Um, but I did also, as soon as the police had gone, I rang uh, Wrexham and said, like, look, where is this letter? But why say to them? And bless, it was a lady called Sean today, of all things. Um, so I said, look, I'm not going to say anything different to what I say. Don't take it personally. I know you're doing your job. 
So I explained to her that my ransom note, I don't ever call it anything else. It's not my, it's not my post adoption contact me. I didn't put my kids up for adoption, remember this. Like seriously, remember, I did not put my children up for adoption. My children were dragged out of my arms and put me through a 26 week battering mate. And they put them up for adoption with, against my consent, without my will. And I certainly have never signed any papers. And I certainly have never, ever, ever given any permission for anybody to treat Aaron and Faith in the way that they have done and I'm stressed at the moment and the reason that I'm stressed is because obviously Aaron's 12 and when they all go back after Halloween now Aaron's had it that's it Aaron's going to be vaccinated and and put onto that system and that database and that's his entire life mate and he's already on a system because he's adopted and you know he's also getting to that age now where he can find me hello Aaron all the way, mate. All the way. All the way. I'll fight with his fist, mate. All the way. And I'll fight with my faith every step of the way. It might be, well, it's not even, it's 11 years since I went out in the media. And it's now, what, we're in 2021. Aaron and Faith were taken on the 13th of December 2012. They didn't actually formally get ad ad adopted until two, July 2015. Yeah, so that was an absolute fucking hoo-ha of a few years. And then once it happened, as you know, I was on Downing Street because I'd gone back to Downing Street and literally Dean said, you got to come off. I met him there. He's like, you got to come off. But even today, he's gone, right, I'm going to ring now. I'm going to ring and say, this looks like targeting to me. This is harassment, because even he's seeing it and he's watching it. He doesn't like drama, he doesn't like all these bollocks, he doesn't like council estates, doesn't like any of this stuff. He moves around in the way that he does to avoid all this bollocks. He likes his life, he likes his life very peaceful. Um, but, but... I haven't been shut down. The baby's adoption's still not been done. I don't know what's going on with Josie as we speak. Last time I went to Southampton to try to find her, someone told me she was in hospital. But that is what homeless people will say. Um, I'll show you. Ow, 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 shit, me cocks it. Ow. I'll show you something. I'm going to get 24,000 for this little baby. And my little Shayla Grace. And she's got a little mummy. And her mum's only 19. And this little baby was that mum's hope, mate. She'd been in foster care since she was four years old. And this little baby in her tummy, like my son Liam, mate, my son Liam in my tummy at that age was was the changing of everything for me, from really wanting to knuckle down and go to university and get a better education and want to do right by my kids and have a better life and not have all this shit, Mom, not be in council. Mum, why is the sky going all pink? Oh, now there is a saying about this. Is it getting Shepherds, hang on. Is it getting Red up? sky at night. Morning delight. No, hang on a minute. Red sky in the morning. A thunder is... Can anyone remember what pink sky at night is? It's something to do with whether there's going to be rain or not. Something to do with that. Mom, yes, darling. I want, I want some more crumpets. I want some more crumpets Okay, okay, let me sort the apple juice. Yep, I'm on it. I'm on it, I'm on it. We're going out as well in a minute, so... We um, You liked those, though, did you? They weren't actually crumpets. Can we do it, Rockets? No, Shiloh's hat is. Right, anyway, I was trying to explain that they're the ones causing all of this trauma right now. And this baby doesn't deserve it. Yes, yes, that's watermelon. Lovely. Take the watermelon. It's Shiloh's favourite. I don't know why you don't drink it, but Shiloh does. So, yeah, I mean, I've rang them. I, whether, I don't know whether they're not going to send me the letter or may not send me the letter, but I've got to go on until this letter turns on up. And if it doesn't turn up, 
it gives me grounds to go back to court. Because what you've got to remember about court is people can only go back in in a time frame that exists from when it happened to when you can go back in. So the police coming today has given me a door back in. And then, of course, if the letter doesn't turn up, it gives me a way back in. Other than that, it is just literally hammering down and winning something that's just never, no, no, ever been I'm won before. Um, Got to be a first, I suppose. Right, anyway, my kids need me. We're going to be going out for a bit. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, Peter says, pink star sky at night, shepherd's delight. Pink sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. So that means t the end of today, that means we're going to have a really Daddy, nice God, dark day tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. Oh, 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 where's that thing that we were all so blessed with today? Hang on a minute, we got blessed with something today. Where's that coin that we were blessed with hey, today? we can have some toys now. Hang on. Today, after the firework, oh, yeah. after the fire people left, yeah, right. the Mommy, boys we found this now. on we the wall. We have toy now. Well, Mom, we have toy now. We have toy now. No, Christmas or winter. Mm. So this was literally... So I'm going to do a little bit of research. I'm assuming, I mean, it's a 2002 coin and there's somebody on it that I don't know who that person is just yet, but I'm assuming it's relevant to everything going on right now. Catch you later. Oh, yes, tomorrow's going to be lovely. I'm seeing my chiropractor tomorrow and I've got the gas engineers coming in at uh, half past ten. So guess what? It's not that I don't let people in my house. So I don't let people come across my threshold, mate, who put me and my family at risk. 